En route in the Baltic, the ice has thickened and forced the Purple Star to a halt. The captain must consider his options. Now it is very difficult to make out the channel. There is uh, some thick ice, thick closed ice. So we have stopped well before number two boy so that uh, we, we don't have, we don't uh, force the ice and the icebreaker is coming for my assistance. Now the master will need to work with an icebreaker. In the Baltic, icebreakers keep the shipping lanes open and allow ships to navigate independently as far as their ice class allows. Their tracks are like roads crisscrossing the ice. To navigate them properly, it's important to keep in the center of the channel and not hit the solid ice. The icebreaker is a big assistance and they know the reason very well. They know the ice condition very well and especially they know the uh, channel which they are making. The icebreaker is in overall command. All officers must be thoroughly familiar with icebreaker signals and every instruction must be obeyed okay, immediately. Mark. Slow ahead and steer very strictly the same course as also is steering. Okay, you, you have to understand uh, if, if a captain comes from, from far east to here, he, he, he probably never have seen ice before. You have to understand that. He is not experienced with this. We try to tell him very clearly what's going on and what he has to do and uh, we try to learn him quickly. What, what, what is going on here. This is the Otso, one of the most modern and powerful icebreakers operating in the Baltic Sea. During the winter, she's on call 24 hours a day. We have uh, 16,000 kilowatts, and made, made only for icebreaking. Uh, we are sailing on the ice field, and then vessels uh, weight breaks the ice. Icebreakers need up-to-the-minute information on the state of the ice. In this case, it is supplied by the Finnish Maritime Administration, who constantly update a variety of information and beam it to the ships by satellite. When we get these pictures, we, we try to, try to uh, lead the vessels to the very easiest way to the, to the destination. But conditions can change very quickly, often long before they appear in weather reports. The icebreaker captain has advised the Purple Star that the thickness of ice has increased. He reduced his speed and advised us to slow down. And uh, we had to slow down and uh, in fact the channel was closing very fast, so our speed reduced very fast, so momentum reduced. Ice uh, breaker advised us to stop completely, and we were stuck at the ice, we were stopped. Once the ice breaker had assessed the conditions ahead, it returned to the Purple Star and prepared to release it. It's better to have a player running to avoid damage and to avoid uh, uh, catching of, uh, of the big piece of ice on propeller. When a breaker is coming, it's uh, your best of all to increase revolutions uh, up to slow ahead or maybe half ahead. And then uh, when a breaker is uh, passing by and passing the middle of the ship for making the channel, it's better to start the engine to full ahead and then follow the instructions of the icebreaker captains. At night, the same rules apply, but it's much more difficult. Searchlights illuminate the way ahead, but even in good weather, visibility is limited. Keeping within the narrow channel requires considerable skill. The size of the channel largely depends on the thickness of the ice. In thin ice, the icebreaker may move quickly, 
by using the stern wave, create a large channel. But in thick ice, she will push slowly and may create a channel about a third wider than her beam. It is important to maintain the same speed as the icebreaker. In open ice, this may be six to seven knots, but will reduce in thicker concentrations. Be prepared with rigged towing gear at all times in case towing is necessary. Icebreakers often arrange ships in convoy. The most important in convoy is when we tell to the ships to keep the distance between its others, let's say three cables, please try to keep it in three cables if we tell so. If we tell five cables, please obey that, and because the ice situation varies all the time. With icebreaker crews working in some of the most hostile and dangerous conditions in the world, their advice to ships entering ice regions is to be well prepared, well equipped and well managed to deal with navigating in ice and to respond to all their signals immediately and then repeat them. So uh, my advice is to, to just rely us The two voyages ended successfully. Everything has been good. But for the Purple Star, after arriving safely, there was one final Stop difficulty. Engine. Stop engine! Nothing is easy when navigating in ice, including mooring alongside. But this ice which we have displaced, it cannot go further. So it will try to push the ship out because that is the fast ice which is fast onto the shore. 